Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this triangle ABC such that uh, M is the midpoint of this uh, side length BC and this line segment MN is uh, 7 units and moreover this angle A is uh, alpha and this angle a and m is alpha as well and now we are going to calculate this length x please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step in order to solve this problem we are going to think outside the box and we are going to draw a line pm P is a some point over here and now let's go ahead and connect these two points such that uh, this PM is parallel to this line segment AB and here's our much nicer looking diagram and here's our next step let's recall mid segment theorem and here's our mid segment theorem in a triangle the line segment joining the midpoints of any two sides will be parallel to the third side and have its length as you can see in this diagram and if we focus on our given problem we can see that these points m and p are going to be our midpoints because according to this theorem this line segment AB is uh, parallel to this line segment uh, PM and moreover according to this theorem as you can see this uh, line segment AB is going to be twice as much as this uh, line segment PM if this is X then this has got to be X over 2 so therefore this line segment PM is equal to X divided by 2 and now let's recall corresponding angles postulate and here's our corresponding angles postulate when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal then the resulting corresponding angles are congruent as you can see in this given diagram this angle 1 and angle 2 are going to be corresponding angles and they are congruent and now let's focus on our this given problem we can see that uh, this uh, line segment PM and this line segment AB are parallel and they are being cut by this transversal AC then we can see that this uh, angle A which is alpha is congruent to this angle M P N so if this angle is alpha then this angle has got to be alpha as well and here's our final step let's focus on this triangle P M N and now we can see in this triangle this angle is alpha and this angle is alpha as well so therefore this is an isosceles triangle so therefore this side length equal to this side length so therefore this side length pm equals to mn let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in our case pm is x over 2 i'm going to replace it by x over 2 equal to mn in our case is 7 now let's go ahead and isolate x by multiplying by 2 on both sides so this 2 and 2 is gone so x turns out to be 2 times 7 is 14 units so thus our length x turns out to be 14 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye